Welcome back, travelers of this side of Havoc here, and we are back on Project Ozone 2 on Kappa Mode. And when we left off, we had just kind of finished trying to figure out how to get all this to work. And you can see, I kind of cleaned it up a little bit, and um, basically, when I was first playing with it, I made these volume upgrades. Now, I don't know how much of a difference they make, but I know that I can increase the volume of the tank. And so now you can see it's a much larger tank and I added like I've been kind of messing with the speed upgrades, but I think I've got it at like a perfect 4.8. Like it maintains right here at 4.8 for both of them. This one's got four in it. This one's got five in it. I don't know. It's just a good balance and it's not constantly blowing pressure. So I don't have to listen to that when I'm over in the area, which is nice. These are maintaining a good constant temperature of 184 degrees, which means they're constantly pumping out, you know, pumping through oil or whatever. And I've kind of got my tanks organized a little bit better. So my gasoline is going into this ender tank right here, which is constantly feeding over to my, um, what do you call this thing over here? Yeah, my smeltery, right? So that's where the gasoline is going. And when this ender tank fills, what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting the overflow like with a, a fluid trash can like I did with these two over here. I don't have a need for the diesel and I don't have a need for the kerosene. And I know that I have move fluid cows for both of those. So basically, I'm just draining them into a fluid trash can. And that's working pretty well for me. I have currently collected 152,000 millibuckets or 152 buckets of liquid plastic over here. And basically, I just constantly have the LPG flowing in here. Once it hits 100, it makes another 100 millibucket. I think it's 100. Uh, let's see. It burns one piece of coal at 100. Yep, there it goes. And bingo, bango, and then puts the LPG. And then the LPG flows into, or sorry, the plastic flows into here. So that all is going pretty well. I just reoriented this because I felt very kind of claustrophobic with the way it was set up. Um, and then added like the little, uh, what do you want to call it? The conduit. So you can't, or the conduit cover. So you can't see the pipe or whatever. And then I put this, uh, dropping conveyor belt over here, which is just a conveyor belt with a hopper. And then it'll automatically drop stuff in when it does it. So I just think it looks a little bit nicer and I really am loving this whole transfer node with the uh, receiver in it because I don't have any cables running over here and this is being powered. So I like that. Um, I probably don't even really need the hardened energy cell, but I like there to be a buffer in case it's using more energy than this put out, but I don't think that'd be the case. But for the time being, it works. And I've been having so, so much fun watching these chickens fly around. I'm I spent almost half an hour, like, lost in thought just watching these chickens get shot around this thing. And they just keep doing it. It's like they're, it's like crack to them. Like, they keep going back to it. They don't even walk another direction. And just right back to it. Like, over and over again. I'm literally, I just, it's like crack to them. They just keep doing it. It's so funny to me. I don't know why, but it is so entertaining to just watch them kind of fly around. But enough about the chickens. We are getting going further on this. Now I realized at the end of the last episode, I forgot to claim my loot chest. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to claim the loot chest for the ones that we did last episode. And <clears throat> then we will get going on today's, which is going to be more in the mechanism stuff. Right? Because, well, that's kind of what we're heading towards. I really want to get to Galacticraft. There's actually two reasons I want to get to Galacticraft. The first reason is it's kind of, you know, in keeping with what we're trying to do. We're trying to, you know, accomplish all of our stuff. But second of all is the very first time I ever played Galactica or used Galacticraft was on Attack of the B Team when it first came out years ago. And I didn't get too far into it. And at the time, all you could do was go to the moon and I think Mars. I think Mars is the only planet. Now there's so many planets and there's like, you know, the addition, what's this? Um, 2.5 provides illumination. Not really good. We'll just turn you into man essence and throw you in here. Yeah, but uh, with the planets add-on or whatever, there's so many more places to go and so many more things to do. I'm really excited about getting going on that. So yes, let's start with this. Uh, we have basic universal cables, basic mechanical pipes, pressurized tubes, logistic transporter and thermodynamic uh something i don't know we're gonna type the word in basic since that happened to be in all of them and i'm pretty sure we'll be able to find them all there we go so we have the basic universal cable that's easy peasy iron and redstone we got it and i'm not shift clicking anything this time uh mechanical is with a bucket 
But for some reason, buckets just don't like to work. All right, so bucket goes there, and I need some steel, like so. There we go, and we got the basic mechanical pipes. And let me bring those back up. <clears throat> then we need the basic pressurized tube, which is with some glass. That is also easy. Then we've got the basic logistical transporter, and this brings us to something new. We need to make a basic control unit, which is made in a metallurgic infuser. So we're gonna come back to this one in just a second after I get this last pipe over here. I believe it was this one, yeah. And that one we can do is just copper. I'm not out of steel, am I? I'm out of steel? What is this absurdity? I should have some in here. Uh, nope, not in you, in you. Cool, I got the steel, great slag. Need to go grab another stack of iron, but I won't do that at the moment. I can always do that later. Um, actually, I might do it at the moment just in case I do need some more because it looks like mechanism is very metal based and everything I just made was made out of steel. So it's probably a good idea to get some more steel going. I think that's a safe bet. So let's get the other one done. Basic. Uh, this guy right here with the copper. And we got that. Sweet. So now we got to get this guy, right? So we're going to need some osmium, which I actually haven't made any osmium up yet, and some redstone in the metallurgic infuser. So I think it's time to find this guy. Um, <laughs> M-E-T-A-L-L-U-R-G-I-C. Metallurgic infuser. All right, cool. This one is machine casing, which we have. Awesome, right? We can, got, we can make the gray plastic. That's easy. Steel. So it looks like we're going to need to make some osmium. Osmium? Osmium. Oh, actually, I got some made up, but we'll go make a whole bunch more because we have our awesome, like, freaking fast smelter. And I believe osmium is, like, a major component of mechanism. So we'll go ahead and get that rocking and rolling like so. I don't know why it's off. It shouldn't be, but it is. Something is going on with my smeltery, and it's like I'm getting, like, I don't know, a bonus block or something like that. I can't for the life of me figure out why it's doing it but i always end up a little bit extra whatever all right cool so we got the casing we need to go make two black or two gray plastic was it stop picking up eggs i'm telling you, they just keep doing oh now the baby chick's gonna do it too oh oh he went flying that baby chick oh no there it is okay is he following his mama oh jeez, that is so entertaining to me i don't know why um so metallurgic computer uh infuser um, where are you? There you are. Okay. So it is gray plastic. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we come over to this guy right here. We click on gray. One, two, grab those. And <clears throat> there was something else we need to make. I think that's, that actually gets made over here in the pressure chamber. Um, it's this guy right here. I'm going to need some redstone alloy, cyan plastic and compressed iron. So let's go ahead and make the cyan while we're here. Like so. And then I'm going to need redstone alloy, which I should have. I have not made. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I have made uh, the plant for that. So that's good. And then compressed iron like so. And let me make sure I turn you off until I'm ready to use you. There we go. And there we go. And now we can go throw these three guys in here and make the whatever that thing was called. All right. So all three of you guys need to go in. It's going to be one at a time, aren't you? Aren't you? Yep. So there's the first one. I want to figure out a faster way to put stuff in here. That just seems so slow waiting for that thing. Um, there is a contraption I remember using on... Um, I think it was my Tragic Magic series or it might have been on uh revenge of the sea team but it's under thermal dynamics or something like that um or thermal expansion it's this little plate that like you can use for warping but what is that ah right here okay so there's a teleport plate right but you can make the translocation plate the impulse plate the redstone plate and the plate frame this translocation plate might be a good idea. It's pretty easy to make. It's just signalum, invar, and then some hardened glass. Oh, I could probably use fused quartz, yeah. And then we fill it with uh, enderium. We might do that. Let me... 
Just because this thing takes so long. I mean, really, that's what it just... It just takes so long. Oh, cool. And apparently that was um, uh, an achievement I didn't even know about. So we'll, we'll take a look back at that in a little bit. So um, Metallurgic Infuser. It moves every time. Why does it keep moving? All right, cool. So we've got that. Now, where do we want to put this guy? Do we want to continue wrapping around here or... Yeah, you know, I don't have a lot of power going on over there. Let us grab a couple conduits real quick. We're going to start a ring. Until we have a, like, final location for these, we're going to start a ring around here. So let me grab some conduit. Oh, I've got lots of it now. Okay, I didn't realize I made that much. Um, like this. And we'll just freaking keep building around the edge of the yellow. And I'll paint up some blocks real quick. Um, not enough at the moment, but we'll make we can always make some more. So you go there, and all you. So we'll make eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll just pick these up for right now. There we go, and just fill those back in. But at least I'll have power for this other stuff that we're making right now. So the metallurgic infuser, we'll just plop, well, we'll plop you down at the end. We'll kind of keep you separate from the rest. There you go. And now you've got power. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we can make that other thing that it wanted us to make, which was the osmium, osmium and redstone. So let's grab, um, I, I think it was just one to one. We'll grab four, just in case. And some redstone, one, two, three, four. We'll probably need more of these. I'm assuming we'll probably need more, so. If I click you in there and you in there, does that work? Yes, but you're super duper slow. Um, side config, transporter config, upgrades. Okay, so there are upgrades. We can do an energy, a muffling, that would be really nice. Speed, that would be useful. Okay, yeah, so we can upgrade. And it looks like it was like two redstone. Oh no, they just went in that slot and did their thing. Okay, well let's make that other part and I'm gonna make a muffling upgrade while we're here, M-U-F-F. L-I-N-G. Muffling upgrade. It's probably pretty cheap. Uh, enriched alloy. I know I have. Steel dust I can make. And stained glass. Let me grab a piece of steel. And pulverize that up real quick. Uh, yeah, there you go. Put you in there. Boop. There we go. And now we can make this muffler. Uh, see, those alloy things, whatever you want to call them. These ones. These enriched alloys. I've been getting them in the... Uh, what's it called? Um, like the loot crates. I never knew what they were for. So do I just like kind of click you in? Oh, and then it applies. Okay, cool. So cool. So it should be nice and quiet now. All right, cool. That works. Let's get this last pipe. Uh, basic. And you were the bigger one. Yes, this one. And that should be it. That should be mission complete. Sweet. Let me grab these and place them just so it doesn't look all ugly. Um, I need to do this at an angle to get that one. There we go. And so now those all have power. Cool, cool, cool. And that's just like some random block over there. Yeah, it works. All right, cool. So we'll put these away. Um, I'm going to put these in the inventory in case we need them for any other crafting because we're going to move on. We have now unlocked two. We've got advanced and elite and ultimate. I'm thinking the heat generators. What are we going to need? So we need a heat generator, three of them. A fuel wood heater and a resistive heater. Okay, so let's check out a heat generator first. Heat generator. There we go. So we need three of these. Ooh, this is intricate. Okay, well, I think if this is dark steel, I've made these by accident. Oh, it's tungsten heat coils. I think I made those by accident, actually. Uh, lumium or glostonic, we have, we have those now. A heat sink. I have not made these. But I've made these by accident, so we should be able to, maybe not, uh, heat. No, I, I knew it. We had a whole bunch of those. Do I not have the tungsten? I haven't made any tungsten up. Okay. Uh, oh, but I have blocks. Tungsten block. Do you not break down? Interesting. Um, well, this bad boy works really well. Oh, you're still working over here. You're still doing osmium. No problem. We will go over here. If I put you in the pulverizer, do you do anything? 
Oh, it does double. Oh my gosh. And it, oh my gosh. So that's just a ton of tungsten. Okay. Get that done. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that the, the dust ores, the sand ores, and the gravel ores doubled. If I would have known. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. Okay, cool. So let's get you put in here and back to the heat generator. Like so. So we're going to need three of these. So we're going to need, I think I have the heat coils. I, I think I do. I don't want to make those just quite yet. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just make it anyways. So we'll make three of you just to make sure. One, two, three. There you go. Um, I know I've got the lumium. I know I have three of these now, so we need to make you. Tungsten and heat. There we go. One. Why aren't you? There we go. Two, three. You're good. Uh, I know we have eight of those, so we're good there. And uh, we're going to need more steel casings. Which means we're going to need more of those. Oh, sad day. All right, so we can do this. We can do this. So I'm going to need three of these guys, three plastic, and 12 steel. All right, I'm going to make up the parts for this really quick, and then we'll come back and finish crafting. And I might as well look at the other two recipes really quick so I can kind of get all of them. So we got the fuel wood heater and the resistive heat. Okay, so fuel wood... We're going to need more casings. Okay, I kind of thought that. So that's four casings we're going to need. Furnaces and a couple more of those. That's easy. And then the resistive, which is right there. Oh, this one's different. A superheating element, which is another casing. Okay, cool. So we're going to need five casings. So let me get going on that, put in all that stuff together, and then we'll come back and actually craft them up and do all that stuff. So I will be right back. All right, guys, so while I'm prepping all this stuff, I kind of want to show you some of the other things I'm making in the meantime as well, just because it's new to me, so I figured I'll share it with you guys. So the first thing we're going to have to make is this energy tablet. This takes a bit of crafting. So the first thing we're going to need is make this capacitor, because I'm, I'm going to get to this battery in a second. So the capacitor is pretty simple. It's an octanic capacitor with some gray plastic and uh, compressed iron. So we're going to need five of each of those. So let's go ahead and grab those. Uh, capacitor, we need five of them. The plastic I can grab over there and uh, the compressed iron. We're going to need five of those. And I don't need redstone on me. And then gray plastic. Now, those batteries, I was looking at them. I'm like, what the heck? Like, really? Is it really all that necessary? I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to try grouping these together this time and see if that works. I don't know if it'll send them all in at the same time or not. Uh, it'll be good to know if I can actually do like, you know, four at a time or five at a time instead of just putting in one individual item. This will be a good test right here. So there's the gray plastic. And then finally, there it goes. I'm just, I'm waiting for the sounds in there. And then, oh, 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 there they all are. Cool. Yeah. So we can do that. That's good to know. That is good to know. Pressure capacity. I'm doing achievements that I didn't even know were achievements. This is this is awesome. All right. So, anyways, so now that we've got those, check this out. This is this is crazy crafting just to get these things. So the energy tablet is all that. We've got all that. We've got 18 of this enriched alloy. So um, <clears throat> for five, we only need 10. We're good. We're good there. But check out this battery. This battery is redstone with some glowstone steel, a block of vibrant alloy, and then this battery. Okay, that's easy. I'm pretty sure I can do the block of Vibrant. I might have to go smelt it up. No, I don't even have Vibrant. I'm going to need some Pulsating. No, not Pulsating. Um, energized. Yes. So I need to grab a stack. Uh, I'll do a half a stack. <clears throat> and some Ender Pearls. And I can put those over here in this guy real quick. So that's really, really quick. I'm pretty sure the Vibrant, I can actually stack those. Uh, or not stack them, but I can actually craft those. I don't have to put these in the smelter to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're good there. So there's three of those. I'm going to need five of these. Hmm. So we need more vibrant. Okay. Um, energized. There we go. But that's quick, fast, and easy. These 
with all the upgrades and having them uh, be resident, resonant, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm not bumming on this too bad. All right, so easy peasy, we've got that. Easy peasy, macaroni and cheesy. But now, back to this again. So we're gonna need three of these. Oh, we only need three, wow. That's right, the other two are the other. Okay, so boom, we've got that meat, except we gotta make this guy. This guy is pulsating iron blocks with energetic alloy. That we can do pretty easily. I've got tons of that, one, two, three. And finally, <laughs> It's another battery. <laughs> and so you got to do this. Now I can do it with that or I can do it with a basic capacitor. I'm just going to do this one because I've got tons of all these materials here. Mm -hmm. So I can do one, two, three. Oh, they don't even stack. Of course not. All right, cool. So there's that guy. Then I need to make this guy one. Oh, because it doesn't stack. I got to do them independently. Two, three. And then this guy, why? Oh, you know what? I may not have the glystonic. I'm making some up right now. Yeah, I got quite a bit now. So we're good there. Um, so let me put the glystonic in there. And now we can make this guy up. This is a bit of a hassle of a build right here. Like this is, why aren't you filling? Ah, redstone. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, vibrant. One, two, three. And what was that ingot right there? Um, let me grab the batteries. Batteries, like that. Was that the glowstonic? Was that what went there? No, that's glowstone. Glowstonic. Didn't I just put the glowstonic ingots in here? Did I not? I just grabbed him out of here, didn't I? Three glowstonic ingots. You you should be popping up. Unless you ran out of space and you're going in this thing. No? And items don't... Oh, wire... No, oh, that's power. Items don't send. Where are those going? Glowstonic... Am I, hold on, this might be the problem. I might be out of storage again. Let me see if that's the issue. Let me make up a couple of these. I probably have no chest again because I just made up a whole bunch of these. So like that, wood, really? Now I'm out of wood. Um, let me grab the jungle wood. The I'm no longer getting the one to one because of the good old sawmill. It's like six to one. So I got plenty of wood now, which is nice. And if I ever need to make more cardboard boxes, I've got that covered. Let's just do that. There we go. Let's just make five more chests. I'm really curious as where that glowstonic steel went. Um, that's, that's really funny. Uh, so storage and jungle drawers. There we go. There we go. There's 10 of those. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, like, no, so there's still some available. Where is that glowstonic steel going? Okay, this wasn't the issue. I mean, you guys watch me put it in, right? Like, I do some funny things sometimes, and I don't realize I'm doing it, but I, I know I put it in there. So where did it go? That's a question. Glowstonic. Where? It just disappeared. It straight up disappeared. Mm. Hold on. Glowstonic. Right? Is there another name that you could be getting? Let me just try steel. No. <laughs> Where is it going? <laughs> All right. Let's just hold on to these real quick. And let's, <laughs> this is weird. This is really weird. Like it's one thing, you know, okay, so I may have forgot it, but there they are. They, oh, they pulled out of my inventory. One, two, three. 
Oh, tell me these don't need to be charged. Not that that's a problem, but tell me they don't need to be charged. Um, heat generator. I think we have everything now. We've got the coils. We've got that. we got those two. Oh, we got to make these. Um, hmm. Let's see. Um, red. One, two. This is interesting. Okay, and then one, two, three, like that. And osmium. Did I use it all? Well, that's interesting. Let's smelt some of that up real quick. <clears throat> I don't remember using it all, but... Oh, that's powder. That's not the actual... That's not like the blended version. That is the one that I need to do this to. There we go. That's what I thought it was, but... <sighs> That is so weird. The glowsonic ingots just disappeared. I got to figure out where those are going. They're, that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? That ain't right. They shouldn't be doing that to me. There we go. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> so you went right. One, two, three. You go in the middle, right? And then enriched. There we go. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, cool. So that does work. So there's you, there's you, and there's you. I wonder if these have to be charged to make it. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> now we should have everything. At least we can make these first three. Oh, you know what? I got to make those casings, which I was over here finishing up. There's four. What am I missing on this last one? Inga oh, pulsating crystal. Apparently, I didn't put enough in there. There we go. One. And I believe it was four steel to go with that. So let's do that real quick. Um, <clears throat> steel casing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you are. That was four steel ingots and black. Okay, so we're going to need 20 steel. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Put you back. And you'll be done in a second, so that's cool. And what? Freaking eggs. Let me turn you off real quick. Did I just make another baby? I think I made another baby. And I'm going to need five plastic. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five. Got you. And how much longer with these lasers? Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We can make the first four, though. Um, so it's U4. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. There we go. You go. And you go. So it'll throw all those in there while this last one's being made. And then I can make the last one. And you're almost done. You're almost there. All of it's in there? Oh, no, last part's going in right now, huh? There it goes. There they are. Thank you. And one more in a minute. Okay, well, let's make these three heat generators. So we should be good now. Heat. Let's make these three. Should have everything. Okay, the glowstone disappeared. Did my lumium disappear too? No, so that's there. Okay, so... One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, heat, those three there. The casings, one, two, three. You there, uh, what was this thing called? Uh, you, you are called basic control circuit. Okay, there you go. I made up a whole bunch of you, one, two, three. And now I'm back to the heat. I'm trying to remember where everything was. Um, the tungsten. I need those three right there. And then finally, basic. It was those basic pipes. I think it was the pressurized ones. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope. Was it the thermodynamic? That makes more sense. There they are. One. Two. Two. Three, and of course they don't stack of course not um, stored energy so I don't know if they're generators or what they are but whatever um, now we need heat no it's not heat it's um, 
Oh, what was it? We're almost we're almost done with these. We're almost done. Uh, we got the fuel wood heater and the resistive heater. Okay. So since I've been doing heat, let's just do the resistive heater real quick. The resistive heater. That's going to be another one. Mm. Let me finish crafting these up because I'm going to have to craft up the superheating element as well as make a whole nother one of these. And then I'm going to check the fuse wood because I have now a feeling that I'm going to need that too. And those are such a hassle. Such a hassle. Fuse wood. Where are you? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Fuse wood. Oh, no, it's resistive. Re no, that's what we just did. Heater? No. What was that thing called? Ah, see, this is so frustrating. Fuel wood heater. If I spelled things right, it would make a lot more sense. Fuel wood heater. And that's easy. Okay, we're good there. I've sh I can make that one right now, actually. Um, I'm putting you up here. Right? Got the steel. Oh, I need to make furnaces. So I need compressed. Can I? Nope. Nope. Okay, anyways, I'm going to finish making these up, and then we'll be back as soon as we're done, because, wow, this is taking a really long time. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so just about finished up with this guy. Right about... Oh, I forgot to make this. Um, copper with... Oh, yeah, we got it all. There we go. And it keeps moving, but I can get it. There we go. Cool. We've got them all done. Yay! Achievement complete. We've got it. So let's go ahead and claim these while well, I remember. One loot chest. Thank you. And another loot chest. Thank you. And just taking a look, we've got the crusher. The crusher is actually something that I know is going to be useful for like pulverizing purposes. For certain items that can be pulverized that other ones don't do. So... Yay, void stuff, and the quantum entropy accelerator. I've gotten that thing a few times. I really need to look into that thing. I've gotten it a couple times, so. So, anyways, I have a feeling these are just kind of power sources. I mean, heat generator. Let's let's see if it's got a GUI. So, okay, so this provides heat. I'm assuming? I don't know. We'll have to look into that, um, because, well, now I have three of them. And resistive heater... Temp 300,000. Ooh. But it takes energy, which it actually has right now. Um, and then what about you? And a fuel wood heater. So, hmm. This is, wow, 160 kill RF. That's 160,000 RF that I can store. Well, that's just what it stores. Um, high, low. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Transferred. Oh, it's like transferring heat into energy. Interesting. So it's a resistive heater, fuel wood heater, and then a heat generator. So, hmm, this is interesting. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do some playing around with those because I, I like all new machines. And let's just see if the crusher's hard or not. If it's, if it's, if it's going to be a pain, I might avoid it for right now, and we'll come back and do it next episode. But the crusher. Two more of those stupid things. Um, compressed iron gears, that's that's simple. Um, another frame, that's that's simple. Yeah, so I might get some of that stuff prepped and ready in between this episode and next. But we're making progress, which is really cool. Um, like I said, there's somewhere down this row that we have to get to unlock. Because um, it's still not unlocked. We want to unlock um, <clears throat> Galacticraft. So we're getting close. But we're still not there yet. And honestly, I, my creative bug has been itching me. But I've been more about productivity than I have about, like, you know, making stuff pretty. So I think in the meantime, I'm actually going to take the time to kind of do some stuff up here and see how that goes. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And then when we come back, <laughs> look, that chicken is still going, by the way. I don't know if you know. And now the baby chicken's following them. They just keep doing it for hours hours they just keep doing it and it's so entertaining to me i don't know how you guys find it but those chickens are so funny so anyways yeah we we it was good um you know what? this one's ran a little bit longer than i wanted it to so we're gonna go ahead and skip the uh chance cubes today and we'll come back and do those in the next episode but 
Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying. Once again, I'm going to mention it one more time because I do it at the end of the video, like I said, because I know it's the, the ones that I'm reaching out to are still watching at this point. Um, if you guys want to put to it, uh, would you like me to build up a Discord channel so we can all kind of come together, be able to talk and chat and do whatever. And, it, you know, not just about, you know, Project Ozone, but about anything. About Minecraft in general, about games in general, about life in general, about, you know, the... American football season getting ready to start in about a month, like stuff like that. If that is stuff that you guys want to do, please let me know down in the comments by you know mentioning something about Discord. I would love it. I will. I, I want to do it, but I don't want to you know take a lot of time to put it together if no one else is interested. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, about that. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's episode and you like the progress that we're making, don't hesitate to hit that like button. Because, man, we, look at how many machines we got now. It's getting crazy around here. And it's becoming productive. And everything works really nicely. And this has, like, good pressure. And things aren't blowing up. And it's not all loud and noisy. And I really do want to figure out a better way to put stuff in this. Because that little machine is so slow. Um... But yeah, if you guys enjoy this, please hit that like button. If you are brand new to the channel, and this might be one of the first videos you watched on my channel and you want to see more like it, where you can see I'm not one of those people who know all the mods, and then I'm just saying like, hey, here's how you do it. I'm learning as I go, and I think it's, you know, it's, it's good for other people who are learning as they go to kind of see the trials and mistakes that I'm making, because I make tons of them. And if that's something you want to see more of, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I all it's going to do is send you a notification when I post videos, which is about once a day right now. So, yeah. So until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. I'm Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.